where in the world do you find all those secret coupon and promo codes? My buddy, Clark, Clark Howard, walks us through all of that. All right, today's show is all about saving. Kelly from Extreme Couponing showed us some of her tips, and we're going to learn about some of the more extreme things people do a little later in the show, but this saving money thing can actually be really easy. You just have to know where to look. And I know where to look. Clark Howard, that's where you look, because uh, you always know where to look. Yeah, I'll tell you what's funny. Yesterday here in the building, I found a dime and a penny on the floor, and you I picked, picked up. them both up. And I'm dying seeing that dollar sitting there that you showed just a minute the ago. The only comment I got, some guy said, oh, there's a couple more zeros on it, I might have picked it up. <laughs> no way. No way. Free money I would I've taught him. my son when he's at the register with me at the convenience store that people always drop change and don't pick it up. And he's down on the floor gathering up all the money. All That's right. how he pays for his 25 cent candy. There you go. All right, some other ways that we can save here? Yeah, you know, extreme couponing is wonderful, and people that really dedicate themselves to it can pay almost nothing for stuff. But a lot of people aren't going to go that far. So now the internet makes it so much easier. You got the site couponcabin.com, which is a great site. Integrate. You can integrate it with your smartphone, you can download electronic coupons, you can integrate it sometimes with the stores. Own, own app, and it's actually very helpful to look for all the, the various codes, but they don't own this space, Benny. There are others in this space as well. You see all the different categories available, but Retail Me Not is one of their competitors, and if you're really into this, you may have several others you like. I'll tell you, the other big one is My Coupon Codes, and so you go to any of these and some have, there'll be some repeat where one has a retailer and right. another, another, or a manufacturer. But you'll find if you go to several of these, you'll find stuff that's maybe on one, not on the others. And it doesn't take long. Every time I buy something long. online, there's always that little box. And I'm always like, oh. Yeah. Okay. So you want a trick for that? Yeah. I got a trick for you for that. This is so great. All right. Whenever I go to check out somewhere and I see one of those boxes, I go to Google or Bing. And I put in the name of the website I'm shopping at that I'm about to check out at. I say coupon their name or coupon code their name. And probably about 80% of the time, I will pop back with a good coupon code that I can go and put in and say it could turn me into free shipping on that order, 10% discount, 20% discount, buy one, get one free. I always feel so guilty when I don't have that code because it, it, it's telling me there is a you code should, out there. Benny, I just don't have the code. Benny, we are going to convert you step by step. <laughs> We're going to get you from that retail shopper into a bargain shopper. Because think about how much you've learned already from the guests you've had here with you. They're teaching you how to stretch every buck. And if you'll put your mind to it, whatever areas work for you, there's so I much do a lot money on the internet. I mean, most of my shopping is on the internet. My, my wife gets to the store more often than I do. And she's good. She's good the, at the, saving. The internet, she's good at returning things, too. The internet is an opportunity to save so much. But with the internet, don't get in the lazy habit of going back to the same website again and again. Then you start paying too much. And you know retailers online are figuring this out. And there, some of them are experimenting with showing different prices at different times of the day and different prices to different customers. customers. Oh. And if you abandon your checkout, many times they'll pop up a discount for you. There was a website the other night that had something in checkout. Two different offers came up, one for a 10% discount, another for 25%. That's like walking out of the store. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I got to... Same deal. Great deal. Same deal. All right, Clark. Good stuff. We'll see you tonight on Evening Good to Express. See you. All right. So we put Clark's lesson to the test and checked out the site Coupon Cabin. There's a 25% off promo code for a kid's Harry Potter costume. That saves us $11.25 Halloween just around the corner. That brings our total save this hour to $76.05. And we're not even done yet. We have a list of free apps and websites that will help you save. Just go to our website, hlntv.com slash making it. How far would you go to save a buck? Would you climb in a dumpster for food?